Welcome to another edition of Highliner News. I'm Reese. And I'm Luther. Downtown Valley City has a lot of history. We continue with part two of options available in the heart of the city of Bridges. 35 businesses line Central Avenue and our Highliner News reporters headed out to explore some of these one-of-a-kind shops. We start here at the high school and we'll work our way south through eight stores along the east side of Central Avenue. Our journey begins at one of the oldest businesses in downtown Valley City. Reporter Devin Anderson paints up the story. My grandfather started it back in the 30s, 1930s, and then my father took it over um, in the 50s, and he built, had the store built in 1959, and then um, I took it over from him about uh, 15 years ago. I asked him what he does and doesn't enjoy about owning a business. I, I enjoy working with customers, helping people. And the thing I don't like about it, um, I don't know. There's really nothing I don't like about it. What is unique about owning a business in downtown Valley City? In Valley City, um, I think one thing that um, is unique is uh, it's been able to stay open for three gen generations. Valley Paint Glass has a wide variety of supplies. We sell uh, Benjamin Moore paint. We sell um, all the sundry items, the brushes, rollers, um, all the tools for that to apply it. And then we also sell uh, carpeting. Um, we sell hard surface floors, linoleum, and uh, window treatments and then we also do glass repair. Reporting for Highlander News, I'm Devin Anderson. Furniture stores have come and gone in Valley City. Reporter Chaser Atwood takes us to Empire Home Furnishing, which has survived over the years and continues to serve Valley City with their furniture needs. Empire Home Furnishings is a family-owned business in downtown Valley City. It was another furniture store and they owned it since I think it was 89 and it was called Budget Home Furnishings. Well, I came from a family-owned business that's on the west end of town now. It's a church currently, but my dad had the original Empire Home Furnishings. My wife, Nancy, had worked here for two years, and then the previous owner said, listen, if you want to buy it, please do. If you don't, we're going to just have a going out of business sale and then close it up. So then we just pursued the financing, and we're fortunate enough to get uh, a bank loan and now we're coming up on three years this, this July. There are many different aspects that keep Mr. Hillborn in the furniture business. And we, competition's good. At one time, Valley City used to have six different furniture stores. I like everything, especially the customers. And I mean that sincerely. It's the people that will come in and once you establish, you know, trust with the customer, they'll rebuy. And I've seen this proven with my dad's story. What I don't like about it, furniture is heavy. This is Chaser Atwood reporting for Highlander News. Valley City is home to many unique businesses, including Salon 356. Reporter Libby Borg styles up the story. Salon 356 is a hair salon located in downtown Valley City that opened in 2010. Oh, it first started as a joke, and we would just joke, like there'd be spaces in town for rent, and we'd be like, ooh, we should put our salon there. And totally kidding, until one day we weren't, and it went really fast. We were ready for a change and wanted to go out on our own, so we did. This salon offers a wide variety of services for their clientele. We do just about everything. We do manicures, pedicures, cuts, colors, waxing. We try to be accommodating to our clientele. The customers most enjoy the relationships gained at this salon. I really enjoy coming here because of Jessie. She, um, she's just a very personable person and I like how she cuts my hair. In addition to the many services and great personalities, the salon also provides a variety of products for all your styling needs. We kind of carry a little bit of everything too just because there's always somebody who likes a certain thing. So. We ordered it in just for them. Reporting for Highliner News, this is Libby Borg. Abby Lemnis shows us one of the many hidden gems in downtown Valley City. Mary Burnson shows me around her store, Prairie Frame Shop. I purchased the store in October of 2005. 
I do computerized custom matting. I have a machine, it's back in my corner back there that does all my matting. Everything is done here on location, nothing leaves here. I'm a pretty hands-on person. If you can show me how to do it, I can do it. And I have a shop, a wood shop is in the back of the store too. 75% of my business is custom framing. I have picked up retail like you see around here. You know, I've gone high end with home decor. You know, I buy my moldings in, the frame material, by length, and I cut it size, and I join it and I cut glass. I do a lot of different things here, you know, more than people realize. I have a lot of services here. I do custom mattings of any size. I buy my product here, do it on site. And same with the frames. I can cut a frame any size you want. There's not a lot of custom framers out there anymore, so I am in sort of high demand. There are a lot of people that are looking for framing, and I'm reasonable. I'm gonna give you the best price out there. And I'm a perfectionist, so that's what you have to be like in this business. We're open Monday through Saturday, 9.30 to 5.30. This is Abby Lemnis reporting for Highliner News. Most downtown shoppers don't know what this quilt store has to offer. Kenzie Peterson brings you the story. After flip-flopping from store to store, Quilted Ceiling has been a business that has stayed open for almost 13 years. Okay, I owned Cotton Patch Treasures right next door to where Quilted Ceiling is. And another gal owned um, MJ's, and that was a gift store where we're located now. So... The two stores closed and combined together into Quilted Ceiling. I like to be around people. I like working with people. And um, the opportunity came, and I was sort of a pattern junkie and fabric junkie <laughs> anyway. So it was right up my alley, and it was for sale, so I bought it. Downtown shoppers enjoy stopping into Quilted Ceiling because of their friendly services. I gauge whether or not I like going there by how much help they want to give you. And when you come into this quilt store, there's always somebody, hi, how you doing, can I help you? Most wouldn't know this downtown shop doesn't just sell fabrics. We are not only a quilt store, we sell fabric, books, patterns, thread, but we also have a bridal registry um, where you can register the bride and groom could come in and pick out what they'd like to receive for wedding gifts. I can't think of a job I'd rather have. Reporting for Highliner News, this is Kenzie Peterson. As prom comes up, we are all looking for former wear. Urban Couture has this and much, much more. Michaela Walla takes us inside this clothing store. We, we were wanting to open a store in Valley City and we did some market research and we determined that Valley City could support and use a clothing store at that time because the one that was there was closing closing down. So we brought in a little different inventory than what they had at a much more affordable price along with formals and dress wear. That way girls didn't have to leave town for their formal dresses for prom, snowball, homecoming, all those types of events. Here are some products they have at Urban Couture. Uh, men's and women's wear, everything from everyday clothing to club wear to formal wear to wedding dresses. For men's we have suits, tuxes, uh, high visibility safety gear, dress shirts, t-shirts, all the daily wear there. Uh, as well as uniforms. Uniforms, uh, dress and fashion shoes. Owning a business can be challenging but there are many advantages to it. I guess what, what I think we like about it is having the freedom to do what we want. It's, it's a deal of if we don't feel something's right, we can change it. Where the hard part is, is you know, it's, it's our baby, so we're here all the time. This is Michaela Walla reporting for Highlander News. From motion pictures to still pictures, Dutton's Valley Gallery has totally transformed over the years. Reporter Regan Ingstead shows us the picture. I graduated photography school in, in 1972, came to Valley City in 1984 to manage and then purchased this studio. As a studio, it's actually been around since 1907, various owners. I worked for other people for a number of years, so I just kind of wanted a little independence. It's amazing how smart those prior bosses got after I had to make my own decisions. When you pick a professional profession that is also a popular hobby, it's very competitive. Dutton's goes above and beyond for their customers. Portraiture and working with people is what I've really enjoyed about it. 
official hours for the photography are, are Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5.30, but we take appointments whenever people need it. Reporting for Highliner News, I'm Reagan Inkstead. Eagle's Nest Bookstore is so much more than a bookstore. Brianna Kunze brings us the story. The Eagle's Nest Bookstore, a locally owned business, has been open for over 20 years. Dinah takes us back into time to what the business was before the Eagle's Nest Bookstore. It was many different things. Way back in the beginning in 1906, it was confectioners. It's been a barber shop, Kirby vacuum cleaner, shoe shop, clothing store, insurance company, jewelry store. From then to now, many don't know what the true purpose of the business provides. Open Door Center serves individuals with disabilities. And there's a group of individuals that live at the High Soaring Eagle Ranch, which is south of Valley City. And they have had traumatic brain injuries. And by opening this store and taking in used books, it gave them a place to come to work and some purpose in their life. So I have um, in, one individual that helps me in the morning and a different individual in the afternoon. Most of the business's products are locally made in North Dakota. also have a lot of North Dakota type books where the author is from North Dakota or the story is about North Dakota. We are a Pride of Dakota sponsor, so um, we carry a lot of Pride of Dakota products. And actually, a lot of our products are made right here in Valley City even. Dinah finally explains her opinion about the business. It's just been a very fulfilling job because there's nothing quite like being able to help somebody in need and it gives you a sense of satisfaction. Reporting for Highlander News, I'm Brianna Kunze. Thank you for joining us from the Valley City Resource Center for another edition of Highlander News. I'm Luther. And I'm Reese.